In this lesson, we are going to show you how to configure and use surveys. Surveys are a way to measure customer satisfaction and um, yeah, well, they're, they're really easy to, to uh, configure. Okay, so let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the hamburger menu in the top left corner and click on admin right here. When we get to the admin, we want to expand application-wide shared features by clicking on the plus sign right here. And as you can see, there, there is a heading called surveys right here. And um, as you can see, there are three things underneath. So what we want to start with is we want to start with the survey email messages. So let's click on this. And this will be the email message the customer uh, gets in their mailbox when, whenever you send a survey. Okay, so let's click on the pencil right here and edit the current message. Or if you want to make a complete, complete new message, you can just click on uh, the plus sign right here for new survey email message. Okay, so when you click on the pencil sign, um, a, new, a new page will open. Um, as you can see in this page or in this tab, it's just a, an email message like all the other, other notification messages. So what you want to do is you want to uh, make an email message right here and write your text. And in the email message, you want to add a variable. In the right hand side, as you can see right here, there are show all variables. So there are a lot of variables you can add from Autotask. And what we want to do is we want to show miscellaneous variables. And as you can see, there is miscellaneous survey link right here. As you can see, we've added it right here in our email message. So the survey link will be added to the email message and our customer can just click on it to uh, fill in the survey. So as you can see, we've added a lot of other variables like uh, ticket number, ticket title, uh, contact first name, stuff like that. So you can just go through all the variables here on the right hand side and add the variables you want to use. And as you can see, you can also use variables in the email subject. So you can just send stuff like a uh, ticket survey and then you can add stuff like ticket number right here. And um, after you've edited everything you want to, you can just click on save or save and close right here at the top. And the message will be saved and you will go back to the previous page right here. And in the previous page, we can click this arrow to go back to the admin screen okay so let's click it when in when we are in the admin screen as you can see application wide shared features is still expanded and we're going to go to surveys right here and click on it so in surveys as you can see there's one uh, default survey which is already active you can add a new one by clicking on the plus sign right here for new survey or you can just edit the current survey so I will just edit it for now to show you how it works. So I will click on the pencil sign right here and it'll open the uh, edit screen in a new tab. So let's, um, let's take a look right here. You can give it a name. So we've just uh, given it the name ticket completion survey. And you can also give the description right here and make it active. Um, you can choose the email message right here. So this is the message we just made. Um, we have one message, so it's very sim very easy to choose. But if you if you have multiple messages, you can just choose the right message right here. And um, as you can see, there is also a survey URL right here. So this is for surveys which are not directly associated with tickets. So if you want to make a project survey, for example, instead of um, uh, using them for, for tickets, you can also use a survey for things like uh, on completion of a project or um, send a yearly, yearly survey to the primary contacts of customers. So um, if, if, it's for, if it's not for a ticket, you can just click on or use the link right here to send it to a, to a customer. 
and the customer will get to see the survey. What's important is if you just send the link instead of through a ticket, um, you, you will not see the name or customer for which has filled out the survey. So it's best to just, or best practice to add a question uh, asking the name or asking the company name um, so you will always know who filled out the survey. Um, also, you can add a logo right here, and if you, which will be pre-filled with your primary logo, which you've already um, uh, filled in earlier in the course. So if you haven't already, you can just click here on the link and it'll, it'll go to the logos page for, uh, from Autotask, so you can add the right logos. After you've filled in this page, you can go to the next step right here at the top to questions. Let's keep in mind there are a few best practices for asking questions for effective surveys. So what you should, should keep in mind is you should keep your questions um, object, objective, clear and precise. So try to avoid words like always, never, extremely, sometimes often stuff like that because it may confuse the user because sometimes it will be different for me as it will be for you so sometimes for me maybe uh, like one time a week or um, one time a month while uh, sometimes for you may may have a whole different meaning because for you it may be uh, um, uh, uh, one time a day or uh, one time an hour instead of weeks or months, so it's very subjective. You should try to ask one question at a time. So don't try to pack too much into a single question because the user may not, may not know which part to answer or may have different answers depending on each part. So just try to keep you, your questions um, very simple. And um, if you want to know different things, just make multiple questions out of it. And um, our, our last tip for building an effective survey is to just test it and test it and tweak it as um, needed. So what you can do is you can make multiple surveys for A-B testing or just tweak your current one um, as needed. Yeah, and, and as you can see, there are a few questions pre-filled already. You can just click on the new question button right here at the top if you want to add a question or if you want to just use a benchmark, you can click on the um, new service delivery benchmark right here and it'll open a new page uh, and, and you can just select which benchmark you want to use. Um, after you've filled in all your questions, what you can do is you can go to the next step, which is header. And as you can see, we've just added a very simple header and um, this second, this second um, line right here is added um, uh, or a little bit more to the right you will see um, in a minute why we did that after you filled in the header you can just add a footer if it's needed and um, in the next step you can click on confirmation for your confirmation uh, message okay so let's take a look at the survey um, what you can do is you can go back to the general tab right here you can copy the link and you can open it in a new tab. And as you can see, you can preview the survey um, um, uh, through, this, through this method. So as you can see why we did the disappointed fantastic, we added a lot of white space right here. Um, it's because it'll, it'll just stay right on top of the um, one, to, one through five uh, scheme right underneath. So it'll, it'll look a little bit better. Um, as you, and as you can see, these are the questions which we've added. And this is the he header message. The logo should be displayed right here. And we haven't added a foot footer message because for us it wasn't necessary. Okay, so if everything is to your liking, we can just go back to the previous tab and we can go to the workflow rules. If you want to edit stuff like the questions header or footer, you can just go back through the to the previous steps we've um, been to before. So for us, everything was okay. So we can just go to workflow rules. Workflow rules are rules through which you can send survey messages. So as you can see, we've all already added a workflow rule called send survey. And the workflow rule is activated when a ticket is edited 
and the following conditions are met. So the status is equal to complete. And the queue is in the list client portal compliancy uh, level one support or level two support. And what it will do is it will send the survey ticket completion survey to the ticket contact. And as you can see, the workflow rule is active. If you haven't uh, a workflow rule already, you can just click on new workflow rule right here and it'll open a new tab. Um, in the new tab, um, as you can see, you can just, just give it a name. So like we did before, you can give it a description if you like, and you can just um, copy the rule we've pre-made already. So when it, something is edited by, um, uh, and you can just uh, select your condi conditions right here as we did before. So you can just um, uh, take a look at our conditions right here and our actions right here. And you can select the actions right here underneath. So as you can see, we can send um, survey to ticket contact and it all you can select the survey right here. So after you've made your rule, you can just click on save and close right here and it'll go back to the previous screen. So the rule uh, will be active automatically. And um, the last step right here are the result emails. So what you want to do is when a customer or a client fills out a survey, you can select who gets notified of the completion of this, the survey. So as you can see, I filled out a threshold right here. So we want to receive survey um, results when the uh, survey score is below four or four or below. So that's our threshold. And who gets the survey res results? Well, we want to send it to the account manager and the primary resource because the primary resource uh, can take a look and can get uh, feedback on uh, what they can, can do better or what uh, they can uh, change for the next time. And the account manager gets notified because um, a ticket contact is not um, really happy or extremely happy. So they may want to uh, see what's going on right there. So after you filled out everything and everything is okay, you can just click on save and close right here on save and you will go back to the previous screen. In the previous screen, we can click on this arrow right here to go back to the admin center. And in, in the admin center, we've configured everything to send out surveys. Um, what we, uh, what you want, what you can do if you want to view surveys or, or if you want to manage the survey responses is you can go, you can click on manage survey responses right here. And I've just filled out, filled one out manually. So there was one filled right here. So what you can see or what you will see if someone filled out a survey is you will see the survey name, the company contact and ticket number. This uh, contact uh, company ticket number and send date will be filled out automatically if a survey is sent from a ticket. If it isn't sent from a ticket or if you just send the link to someone, this will be empty and you will only see the survey name, the complete date and the survey rating. Um, so that's the only thing you will see, for example, if you send one out manually on, uh, upon project completion. Um, so you can click on the survey name right here and it'll um, open the survey results. So as you can see, I can just see um, the number or the rating which was filled out for each question right here. Um, and I can see when the survey was completed. So that's, uh, that's the survey responses. Uh, yeah, and you can just click on different kind of different kind of survey names to see different kind of responses. So um, lastly, what you can do is you can go back to the um, admin center by clicking on the arrow right here. And what you can do is you can go to service test tickets right here and expand it and go to ticket categories. And in each ticket category, when you uh, you can go to the hamburger menu and you can click on edit for the ticket categories you want to send surveys for. You can click on edit right here and it will open the ticket category. 
What you might want to do is you might want to go to the last tab inside right here, click on it, and you might want to um, make different ticket insights visible uh, for the ticket. So as you can see, we have survey scores right here. If you want to make it visible, you can just drag it to the top right here into the visible insights. You might want to edit right here underneath service thermometer. Um, and how it looks is it looks like this. So you will get an insight in which you can see the rating uh, for the survey and which surveys were completed and uh, for the company and for the context. So um, yeah, it'll, it'll just give you a little bit more visibility um, for, for the survey scores for uh, uh, both the company and the context. Um, right within your ticket category, so right within your ticket. So you can just um, keep in mind if someone is happy or unhappy or uh, stuff like that when you when you help a uh, a customer.